Reagan has reached full on toddler status, which means we are constantly looking for activities that will keep her entertained and give us a few seconds to breathe or get some work done since we both work from home. And today I'm sharing seven activities that you can do in your house rain or shine with household items you probably already have on hand. So let's get into them. Next one, you're gonna wanna get a muffin tin or like a mancala board. And then you're gonna wanna just go around your whole house and get random household items. So you guys can use some pipe cleaners. You guys can use hair ties if you don't have pom-poms. Even a handful of rubber duckies will do the trick. More item my daughter loves posted now. So you can really do whatever you want with this. You can just give them all the items and let them have fun. If you want to be more interactive, you can go ahead and teach them to sort by color. How I used to play with this type of thing when I was a kid was practice counting. So one, two, three, and so on. As they get older, one plus two equals three. So you can start having them learn all that type of stuff. Again, for younger kids, you would just have them sort by color. You could also have them practice fine motor skills with like a little ladle or spoon and have them try to move it. You'd have to model some of these things in advance for them, but the possibilities are endless and it doesn't have to be crazy items. You could even take some little pieces of tape and make different shapes out of it. Touch. And that would probably work too. Open up the box. Putting it right there. You wanna try? That's a ducky. One ducky, two duckies. Good job. Yay, the duckies are playing. We're gonna make a DIY tambourine. So you'll need two paper plates. It could have them decorate the outside of the plate first with some crayons, glitter, or whatever. Start by stacking your paper plates and then grab some tape and begin taping the edges together. You'll go all the way around and just leave a small hole and that hole is where we'll fill our dried goods. You'll see here I'm using rice. You could use dried black beans, chickpeas, whatever. And then just tape off the hole. Maraca, shake, 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 shake. Whoa. <gasps> Some days they're gonna like things more than other days. Today she's not into the maraca, but is obsessed with our little cupcake makeshift Mancala discovery board. Kid, kid, don't touch the camera. <laughs> help mama, will you help mama with this? Don't touch the camera. Look at this, at this. Where is that? Is that a good height for you? Let's do this one first. Reagan, this one here. And Reagan, what about this one? All right. Will you help me find things to go inside here? Come here, kiddo. We got some hair ties. Ooh, I got this stack of hair ties um, because it has a lot of different colors. There was a lot of them. And this way she can practice color sorting. They also didn't have pom-poms, so kind of similar to a pom-pom shape. Um, I knew they would be small enough to fit inside of these. These alone are a great toy, as you can see. Reagan, watch this. See the green one? Look it. <gasps> How'd that happen? <gasps> How'd that happen? Want to go? <gasps> Whoa, we put it in here? So as your toddler gets older, you can put different colored baskets under here and then have them put the items. Where'd the green one go, Reagan? Watch. Whoa. Where'd the green one go? See, here's the green one. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Are you collecting the green one? And honestly, if I just left her with this stuff and didn't even, if I had to go do the work, if I had to go do something, as you can see, just transferring stuff back and forth between different shapes or colored containers will really keep her entertained. One of the kind of notes I have on this, when you set something like this up or just when it comes to any toy, especially with toddlers, 
you want to take it out and then put it away. A lot of the times we think, oh, I buy my kid all this stuff and they don't like to play with it. It can become really overwhelming for them to have a ton of toys out all the time. So we try to really only leave one to five toys out for her at all times. That way she has very focused play. Like I'm talking to you guys right now, she could care less what I'm doing. And normally when she sees the screen, she's all about it. And um, I have like the little viewfinder up so she can see the screen on this right now. But instead she's just sorting away because these are all new items. If she like played with this nonstop for a couple days and then all of a sudden was no longer interested in it. If I put this stuff away and don't bring it back out for another two to four weeks, she would do this all over again because it would feel new to her again. See, now she's copying what I was doing before by putting it into the paper towel roll. So just spend a little time with them, showing them how it works. And um, they're learning the concept in and out, all of that type of stuff, cost and effect. And I mean, I can't tell you the last time that there has been a screen in front of this kid and she has been so disinterested in it. So really simple, really easy. If they don't have pom-poms, look at hair ties. For this next one, you're gonna need a canister with a lid, some cards, and a pair of scissors. All right, you are gonna take the lid of your container, fold it, and then just cut a square. You kinda of wanna cut a slot. You don't wanna cut too big of a square because you want it to be challenging. Once you get your little edges, you'll just fold this up. And you'll just cut that little flat. Now you have a slot, this one's kind of big, you may want to go a little smaller. And by smaller, I mean thinner. Also, make sure to check the size of your canister against your cards before starting to cut. Um, these are really big. If they were a normal size deck of cards, this would fit perfectly, but these cards are a little oversized, so she's still having a hard time with it. Again, <laughs> as she gets older, the complexity will probably be more Push fun for her, but Push she's it. a little too Push small it. for how um, disproportionate this is. For this next one, you're gonna need a Ziploc bag with some water and we're gonna pour a little olive oil in here. You can use really any type of oil. And then if you have any food coloring, you can add food coloring as well, not a necessity. Um, and really if you wanna add like glitter, rice, anything else, bonus feel free to add that too we're making a sensory bag if you will so instead of having the mess of a sensory bin all over your floor we're just going to give them a little bag that they can walk around and hold and squish and look at so we have the oil and the water separated whoa you want to try touching that try touching it squishy you have her duckies you know they go in the water too watch and this is why toy rotation is super important. She had no interest the other day, but here she's obsessed with it. Next, you'll need some holy baskets or a colander from the kitchen. And we are gonna set up a little game of pickup sticks. So grab some straws or pipe cleaners, anything that's sturdy and vertical that fits through the holes of your item. Raven already has some for us here. So this is another activity that your toddler will continue to develop skills with. So at first, you're just gonna model for them inserting the straws and pipe cleaners in, in between the different holes of your item. And they're probably just gonna pull out the different items or put them into different baskets or containers if you have multiple out and eventually they'll start inserting it between the holes um, regardless it's a lot of fun for them another thing is um, a cookie sheet with some magnets on it keeps them entertained and another option for this if they start to get bored you need to take some masking tape place it on a cookie sheet make sure there's ends up some loops and stuff so that their little fingers can get under there and give it to them. See how long it takes to play with it. This is ducklings? I have not. Do you know where they could be? Ducklings, ducklings, come home. Where are you? Little baby, do you know where my ducklings are? Hmm, we have to help Mother Goose. Have you checked behind the barn? Not yet. Let's go behind the barn. Hmm, I don't see any ducklings over here, do you? Make sure you hit that notification and subscribe button because I am working on a follow-up video to this full of toddler activities that all involve water, in the kitchen, in the backyard. Um, 
some very wet, some not so wet. I know you guys won't want to miss it. If you guys are looking for even more ideas, you have to check out my friend Callie from Butt First Coffee. She has even more ideas for keeping your baby and your toddler entertained. I will leave a link to her channel in the description box below. In the meantime, I'm Rachel, the blogger behind The Confused Millennial. Make sure to follow me on Instagram.